One of the projects I'm working on here at Cambridge Consultants is called Instant Wild. We're working with ZSL to crack a real technical challenge. Can we photograph the world's most endangered animals in some of the world's remotest locations and transfer those pictures to smartphones everywhere within moments? There are three key difficulties here. The first is battery life. These cameras are going to be installed in locations where you really don't want to have to go and change the batteries all that often. The second problem is getting the images out in near real time when you could be hundreds if not thousands of miles away from civilization and ordinary mobile phone networks. The final problem is we need to be able to take pictures in complete darkness without giving away the location of the camera to any potential passing poachers. We've developed a satellite enabled motion triggered camera. With this we could for example get a picture of an African black rhino around a watering hole at midnight and then transfer these images over the Iridium network. This is the only network where you can make a satellite call anywhere on the planet. We then use that call to transfer the image. The Zoological Society of London is working with Cambridge Consultants to develop new remote monitoring technology which is going to completely revolutionise conservation. Globally there's a massive increase in the poaching of rhinos and elephants and we're working with Cambridge Consultants to accelerate the development of new technology which is going to help stop poachers in their tracks. The development of this technology could not have come at a more important time. This camera is going to be used in some really inhospitable environments, so we've had to make sure it's up to scratch. We've put it through a battery of tests using our on-site environmental facilities, testing in extremes of temperature and humidity. We've also had reports where previous camera installations have been destroyed by wild animals. So we've had to put this one through some stringent mechanical tests to make sure it performs exactly as designed. So people can really help out by downloading the Instant Wild app and visiting the Instant Wild website. There, they will be able to see these up to the minute images from these remote locations and then use the species bar to identify the animals they see in those pictures. Already, we've had people identify animals that were thought to be extinct. There are two things about this project that really excite me. The first is being able to work on and solve these really difficult technical challenges. And the second is knowing that the solution to these challenges is going to have a really positive impact on the world.